Hi guys, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will see that how we can pass the data from parent to child component. These are the points that we are going to cover in this video. We will make a component, then we will use this component as a child, then we will pass the data from parent to child and we will display the data. All right. So in this form, in the uh, passing the data, we will pass the two kinds of data. One is a complete array. I will show you that how we can pass the complete array and I will just show you that how we can just pass a normal variable, a very small string also, All right? So now let's start. So first of all, let's make a component. So just clear the command line from here and uh, just make a component with the name of user. So just use ngg component and component name let's say my component name is users and just hit the enter uh, now actually we got a component here uh, let's a little bit zoom it out and here you can see that in the src app we got a component with the name of users all right so let's uh, include this component in the app.component.html file here so for that, as you know that we have to use the selector as in tag. If you just don't know what is a selector that you can just get it from here. All right. Then simply use the app minus users and just like this. All right. Now you can see that we are able to see the component here where the user works. Okay. So how we can simply pass the data for that. Let's define some properties inside the app.component.ts file. Uh, right. I will just use this one also, but uh, just for now, we can just remove it. Let's say I have a single hero with the name of Spider-Man. Spider-Man. All right. And now let's pass this Spider-Man to the app users component. Uh, so that just choose uh, property binding with the name of let's say hero. And here I am just going to pass this uh hero component uh hero property all right like this hero okay so from the parent we just finished our work all right the everything is set from the parent now let's come to the child component and let's jump in the component users.component.ts file so first of all we have to import here input from the angular core oh, this is not input that's input all right so when we just use input, we don't need actually a constructor here. We can just remove it and uh, just use the directive with the name of iterate input. And after that, uh, we can just get our, what we are just getting in the input. We are just getting the hero here. You can just get guess from here. This is the binding property. All right, hero. So now let's, you are able to use this. Now just console dot uh one or console dot log you can use here just write here hero and hero let's see what we are getting here okay now you can see that hero is spider man here all right so this is very simple to show on the html template ho also just use your h1 tag and just simply use here the double curly braces uh hero all right and we are able to see Spider-Man here. So this is the way that how we can just pass a single array. And if you just want to some pass complete array, then this is also a very simple task. There is a nothing uh, typical in this. So just use the heroes or hero uh, as an array like uh, Superman, Batman, Right, and we can also use um, <laughs> Iron Man. Yes, this is my favorite one. All right, all right. Now let's uh, come inside the user dot component dot. Uh, but first of all, we have to just pass here the correct property from the app dot component. Just use here heroes, and here we can also use the heroes. You can also use the hero, but this is a naming convention that because there is an array. That's why I'm just going to put here heroes. This is a little bit nice, All right? So we can use the heroes also heroes, everything heroes, just replace it. So now let's see what we are getting here. 
as you can see that we got the all heroes here all right so even you can use the for loop here also if you just want all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care